Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show a demo on how to move all files from one folder to another folder using file system task. I have a folder called D drive files. There are so many different types of um, files are there. XML, text document, Excel, CSV format, everything is different. So if you see the number of the files we have in this folder is it's around 54, 54 files are there now I want to move all these files from this folder to the archive folder which exists in the same D drive see in, in archive folder we do, currently we don't have any file so after creating the package and running the package all these 54 files are moved to the archive folder so how we can do this, we will see in this demo. So this is my SSIS 2019 version. First I am dragging the for each loop container. Why? Because we have to loop the all files in that folder by through variable. That's why we are using the for each loop container. So double click to configure, go to collection and Select the uh, enumerator as file enumerator, and here you need to browse the uh, folder where your folder is located. My folder is D D files. So I'm clicking that. Next, we are going to variable mapping. Here we need to create a new variable and index is mapping with 0 so through this variable it will it will loop through all the files into the folder from uh, source to destination so uh, till now it's okay now i am dragging the file system task into the inside the for each loop container double click so if you see if you double click here so here the as you know there are many operations are there copy move create delete uh, directories or files in the file system task editor so here i am using the move the file so here each source path available i am taking as a true because we already created one variable user variable i am selecting that variable here coming to destination path um, I'm keeping the destination path available uh, false as well, and I'm creating a new connection to be where the, all these files are moved. I, I'm selecting the existing folder. So because my folder in the archive folder is already there in D drive, so that's why I'm selecting the existing folder. Browse to get the uh, archive folder. So I'm getting D in the files in files it is archive so i am planning to move all these files 54 files into the archive folder once again i am, I am uh, make sure in archive folder we don't have any files it is d files archive so everything is set so see here even after um, even after we declare the destination folder, the red mark of this file system task is not done because the why this happened means because there are no files in the uh, destination folder archive folder. That's why it is showing the into mark. So that we need to change the work property called delay validation in the file system task from delay. Uh, false to the true see here here the red mark is gone so now i am about to run the package once again i'm showing after running the package all these files are moved to the archive folder so i'm executing the package now I 
package executed successfully. And if you see and go here, there are no files are there. If you want to check the archive folder, all 54 files are moved to the archive folder from the files folder. So this is how you need to move the files um, bulk in bulk manner to move from one folder to another folder using the SSH package in in file system just uh, as we did in case of loading the CSV files and multiple CSV files and text files here also we, we can use the for each web container to read the um, files how many files are there in, in a particular folder for that we are creating one variable through this variable on this form files are moved to the source source to the destination folder thanks for watching the video thank you very much